Hello, people of YouTube. Wayne Hackman here, aka Waxstar. In the last video, you saw me unbox a DX Commander. In this video, I'm going to build it. Now, as you can see here, there is the radial plate and the element plate and a number of hose caps. And this was the first port of call I started when constructing this. I put all the nuts, bolts and washers on the radial and element plate. And then I also took time to thread plastic onto the different hose clamps that are provided with this. Now, in a moment, you'll see how these will fit together. But you are provided with this little PVC piece of plastic which nicely fits over the top of each hose clamp, thus not to damage the actual DX Commander pole so you can take it up and down. Now this is the bottom of the pole and at the bottom of the pole you're able to unscrew the cap and then the radial plate fits very nicely over the bottom and you're able to then take that cap and screw it back on and that will hold the radial plate absolutely secure. Now if you were to turn the DX Commander over the other side you can also slide the element plate down as well where that PL256 connector is attached. Once you've done that it's time to measure out the element wire and you're given about 100 meters of decent wire. You can see here the different lengths that I had to cut the element. Now I don't know about you I always panic you know measure twice cut once and all that jazz and this is my first cut little bit of a panic and it's really important that you try and cut the wires appropriately as possible. I ended up with four elements 17 meter, 20 meter, 30 meter and 40 meter and I'm going to just stick with the four elements although the pole can accept more elements. Now you're given a whole load of little crimps so that you can attach the elements to those wing nuts that you saw earlier. And so I crimped and soldered as you can see here. And then I took some of my own heat shrink and I color coded the different elements. And you'll see why that's important in a minute. I, I wanted to do a nice job and as you can see it just looks a bit tidier when the heat shrink is all wrapped up. And so these are the spreader plates and they spread themselves up the pole and you can see on each spreader plate I wrote the corresponding colour to the heat shrink on each element and this shows where they go so I can thread them with ease. I had enough wire left over to make four sets of radials, each radial had five three and a half meter cables connected, you'll see those spread out later. Time to set this thing up and you can see how those spreader plates fit down the pole and the pole quite naturally holds them in place and then I thread each element attaching it to the element plate through each of the element spreaders and the element spreaders go all the way up the pole and, um, and, held, and held really nicely um, which is great. Right at the very top of the pole you're given a little bit of PVC plastic which you just sort of slot over the top whilst holding the 40 meter element. As I said earlier, you can add more elements if you would like. I've just stacked with the four different elements, as I said earlier. Here you can see the bungee cord that's also provided, and I've cut those to shape, put the connectors on, as well as also the paracord, which holds up the DX Commander. thought to myself initially that it would be a bit flimsy, but I tell you what, three thunderstorms have come. This thing has held solid all the way through. Anyway, this is the DX Commander with all the radials attached and all of its former glory. Thanks for watching and in the next video I will tune this thing up to give you some idea of what I can receive through the DX Commander Classic. As always please rate, subscribe, do all of the things that YouTubers do and I'll catch you in the next video.